Hello, I'm Stephanie Green, and we're here today to talk about the Brattleboro Words Project's book, Print Town, Brattleboro's Legacy of Words. The purpose of each of these short videos is to unpack one of the many interesting features of the book and of our history. I'm here today with John Hooper, who wrote many pieces in the book, one of which was a delightful sidebar on the Stephen Day Press and its very creative sales stratagem, The Book Wagon. Welcome, John. Glad to be here. Thank you. John, first, could you tell us a little about the Stephen Day Press? Yes, uh, the namesake of Stephen Day Press actually was the first printer in the American colonies. And my folks honored him by naming their little publishing company uh, Stephen Day Press, which we shorten and call SDP. And uh, it was a regional publishing company here in Brattleboro that operated during the length of the Great Depression from 1931 to 1942 and printed and published 125 or so books about New England and uh, were quite successful given the circumstances. And, uh, but when the war came, they all went to war and they, cl they closed the press down. What prompted the inspiration to do the book wagon? Well, you know, of course, I, I, I can't know for sure, but I can just visualize the three employees at the time, my mom, my dad, and Sam Lincoln, sitting around a table, probably in a bar, just coming up with as many ideas as they could on how to promote the press. And they loved the idea of promotions and advertising. They were good at it. And uh, so that's where this book wagon idea, I believe, came from. But uh, what intrigued them was the fact that, you know, back in the day, peddlers used to sell most anything by cart door to door. So this is sort of a, a more modern take on that, uh, circa 1938. And uh, they rehabbed an old panel truck and created the book wagon from it. And uh, the rest is history. <laughs> so where did the book wagon go? Well, <clears throat> my, my mother, who, who uh, was quite literary in her own right, uh, sent out letters virtually to book uh, sellers all through New England, to newspapers all through New England and even New York, and, uh, and published a schedule of where the book wagon was going to be. Uh, and basically it was someplace in New England and it would go for a day or two or three, and then the driver would take the truck to the next venue and so forth and so on. And this went all uh, summer long, and uh, the drivers uh, changed out from time to time, and uh, that's how it worked. They could, they could uh, pull into a, a bookstore or a town square, open the, uh, sides in the back of their bookmobile and they had displays in there they had books recent books for sale they had uh, a working model of the original Stephen Day Press which I'd love to know where that is now but uh, nevertheless um, that's that's how it worked and they did this for uh, four summers I believe so you had some local and national luminaries driving the wagon. Could you talk about them? Yeah, uh, this was a small company. Uh, at the time the book wagon idea was started, it was three employees about to add a fourth, but the uh, drivers of the truck were basically people who were interested who needed a second job uh, or others 
And uh, three that come to mind, uh, Dick Sherwin, who had a uh, long history in Brattleboro with the Vermont Printing Company, uh, was a driver right out of Dartmouth College. Uh, Sam Lincoln, who you're familiar with, was a driver, as well as, as, as well as man about town. He was very important to that company. And finally, uh, Mel Ferrer. And if that name rings a bell, it's probably because he, while having a second job as a bookmobile driver, his first job was as a thespian, going around to different summer theaters. And that hardly made a living for him. But then he met on Dean, Audrey Hepburn, and they married, and he didn't need a second job anymore. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, Sam Lincoln ran the original bookseller um, and sold the store to my parents in 1954. He was a wonderful advisor to my folks when they were starting out and a real fixture in the local book scene. Do you remember him at all? You know, that he, he was before my time, um, okay. but, but you flatter me. <laughs> uh, all right, very good. I, very but in, <laughs> in any case, uh, I did not know him, and I, I always wondered whatever became of him, but with the advent of the internet and so forth, I, I was able to then learn that uh, he continued to uh, represent uh, publishers, New York City publishers and others throughout the country in sales. He was one heck of a salesman, mm -hmm. and he bought the, uh, the uh, bookseller and later worked for your parents uh, in the Stephen Green Press. So yeah. he had a long yes. and important and productive uh, career here in Brattleboro. Yes, I just discovered that he wrote a history of one of our, our my great grandfather's businesses, Lockwood Green Company, and the book oh. is about this thick. It was really, oh. you know, we congratulate <laughs> ourselves on having produced Print Town, but this thing is a real doorstop. So that was fun to see his name on that. So anyway, what? Oh, very interesting. I, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Um, what happened to the wagon? Well, uh, it, uh, it seemed to work well for them. Um, the, I don't know how many books they ever sold from it, probably not many, but they got tremendous publicity. They got write-ups in virtually every daily newspaper in New England, uh, both announcing and, and then photographs of the book wagon in town and so forth. They got tremendous publicity from it. Uh, but it was, it, it was kind of wearing, uh, and they were a small outfit. And when the uh, book wagon finally broke down the end of the summer of 1940, they, they figured, well, they, uh, it, had, it had done its job. Promotions come and promotions go. And this one came back to the shop on the hook of a tow truck. <laughs> and uh, where it went from there, I do not know. All right. John, thank you so much for talking with me about this. One of the many fascinating things you've covered in your pieces for the book. And I wish you lots more historical writing and digging and researching after you've had a nice break. Thank you. Thank you.